guys so welcome back to my vlog i know this is very different from what you're used to well first of all i'm wearing makeup <laughs> and i usually don't wear makeup so i know it's a huge change to see me looking like this today i thought i would show you how i take off my makeup great skin makes for great makeup so it is important that you take care of your skin um even if you're somebody who absolutely loves makeup, skincare is super, super important. First thing I do when um, I get all dulled up like this for a shoot is these lashes gotta come off. See these lashes? They do give that baby doll look that I really love, but they still have to come off. So here goes. So take off the lashes. Um, these are reusable lashes so girl I will be using them again and then I pick up my wipes here now these ones are the L'Oreal Vita Lift wipes I don't know if they have them here in um, in Lagos or this part of Africa usually people use baby wipes which is absolutely fine. I'm starting to love the wipes that are specifically though for your face. With this particular one, it has vitamin C in it. So we all know that vitamin C is for brightening um, and for giving even skin. So I definitely love to use this. And usually I would use about two or three because we definitely got to get everything off. Unfortunately, the wipes like these don't always take everything off so there must be some other form of cleansing you don't want makeup to clog up your pores that is what destroys skin skin needs to breathe do you know what I mean so with all this makeup on the likelihood that you're clogging pores regardless of how good your primer is because I have heard people say no I put a good primer on so it doesn't seep through the skin baby girl come on now so once I've done this I then cleanse again with coconut oil. That's right. Coconut oil is bae. Hashtag coconut oil is bae. Because coconut oil, like you've already seen from my previous vlog, comes, it has just so many benefits, you know, and makeup removal is one of them. So I would take my coconut oil, put a little bit in cotton, a cotton bud, or some cotton wool, and then go over my skin again. I do this like twice, just to make sure it's a thorough cleaning. And as you can see, it's getting lesser and lesser. So once you've done, you're done with that, with the coconut oil, I will take another wipe and wipe myself down again. I concentrate a lot on the under eye. If you don't take the mascara, because first you use mascara, then you use the under eye pencil, then you have the, the eyeliner, there's a lot of black. If you do not clean it properly, the black residue ends up settling under your eye, and that actually contributes to that darkness of your eye. Yes, girl, you didn't know, now you know. So now I don't play with that. So now that um, I have the makeup removed, it's now time to wash your face. I usually go for a very simple, visibly even foaming cleanser by Neutrogena. Or if I have a lot of makeup on and I've kept it on for really, really long, I'm definitely doing the Elemis Tri Enzyme Resurfacing Face Wash. Okay, so once I've washed my face um, and I'm feeling refreshed and skin is looking on point, um, I go straight for the moisturizer because your skin is a little bit dry and now it needs a great moisturizer, a great night cream or a double serum, which is what I use. to basically just repair the, 
the negative effects that your skin has undergone during the day you know with the sun um, with dirt with everything and I'm a Clarins girl so two products I absolutely love and I'm sure you keep seeing it over and over and over again is Clarins and Elemis Clarins is definitely a go-to brand for me um, as an ebony sister I definitely go for a Clarins night cream but what I love drum roll please <laughs> this right here this double serum right here though Ooh. if you could save up $80 or $120 I know I know it's expensive but if you can I would want you girls girls are you listening to me listen it will change your life it has anti-aging properties and it says complete age control concentrate and they are not lying so what i do is i pump one two one two pet don't overdo it <laughs> and i rub it in my arms just to give it a bit of warmth and here's the trick girls don't apply this way don't rub on your face the patting method is more effective than the rubbing method you want to just pat pat and all over your neck and it smells so good then you can go to bed and let that double concentrate do its job and when you wake up you're gonna your skin is just gonna be feeling so refreshed and so renewed so that's the nighttime routine i hope you really enjoyed that make sure you subscribe to ebony loving and until next week